Meantime, the Deputy Prime Minister announcing a number of measures in Parliament today which will assist workers and businesses negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Fern Carey takes a look. With economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic projected at some $1 billion, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, detailed the tax credit and tax deferral employment retention program during House of Assembly proceedings Monday. It will provide small and medium-sized businesses with payroll support in an effort to retain up to 10,000 jobs. The program allows businesses to defer the payment of certain taxes and to benefit from a tax credit up to $300,000 in each instance. This accommodation is specifically to provide businesses with cash flow to preserve current employment levels. Businesses will have to commit to utilization of the tax credit solely for the purposes of covering payroll emoluments. A qualifying business will make an application to the Ministry of Finance and we will be able to withhold their outstanding business license or value-added tax receipts collected up to $200,000 per month for up to three months. The Deputy Prime Minister said the government is budgeting some $60 million over the next three months to facilitate the initiative. To qualify, a business must have a minimum of 25 employees. The qualifying amount for a participating business cannot exceed its non-executive payroll for the relevant period. Companies must commit to retaining 80% of their staff count as of February 2020. The net effect of this initiative is that for some businesses, the government will be paying the salaries of half of their employees for the next three months and providing them with the cash flow to pay the remainder. Meantime, the social assistance program has also expanded to aid workers who have been laid off or are on reduced work weeks. NIB has fielded some 7,000 emails related to unemployment benefit claims. The sheer number of applications has put tremendous pressure on NIB's resources, both from a financial and operational standpoint. To, ins to assist in the administration of payments, NIB enlisted the support of the Public Treasury. And together, NIB and the Treasury, along with the full clearing bank community, are assisting with the timely payments to beneficiaries. The government is also partnering with the National Insurance Board to implement a temporary program for self-employed persons in the hospitality sector. In addition, some $1.8 million has been allocated to assist family islands with any COVID-19-related expenditure. Frank Carey, ZNS Network News.